Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com. I got something really great to show you today. Uh, a new automatic tritium carbon case watch from Protec. Protec watches I started carrying uh, maybe about a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago or so, uh, strictly in the quartz uh, arena, and now they are entering into the automatic arena. So I want to show you them today. In case you didn't know, just really briefly, uh, Protec is founded by Barry Cohen, uh, one of the brains behind the Luminox brand. So definitely feeling at home. We're going to check out four awesome new automatics. Uh, for my own wrist check today, I am wearing an Islander Spinnaker collab. This was the Bradner um, in the blue and orange colors. Um, you know what it is. I won't say it because I can't. And on the other wrist is um, an Islander Greenport with the black dial. Greenport's selling great. Uh, blue dial's almost sold out. This black is doing well. I'm really pleased with the success of the watch. But let's see the star of the show, the ProTech. So when we think about the tritium market for watches, there's a few brands obviously that come to mind. Luminox, um, but not in my store. That brand that comes to mind would be Marathon. Um, we do carry some Tracer or Tracer. And also the brand um, Bertucci actually makes a couple of quartz-based tritium watches. So I thought this was uh, interesting and exciting because Protec is now, well, let me straighten that out for you, sorry. Protec is now offering an automatic watch with tritium. What's the big, what's the big deal? Well, I guess there's just not many folks that do it. Uh, so this is running on a Seiko NH35 movement hand wind tax. We, you guys are probably familiar with the movement, but the price is something we will need to discuss. And we'll talk about price in a bit so we can see where this, where this lands. Just really quick, in case you don't know what tritium is, uh, tritium is a radioluminescent light source. So when we get super close to this, we look at the hands and the, sec the, the hour, minute, and seconds hand, we see little tubes of glass on them. And then when we look around the periphery from 1 to 11, we see some green tubes. At 12, we see an orange tube. These tubes are filled with tritium gas, H3, which is an isotope of hydrogen, and what that does is it's radioactive, and as it decays, it releases a particle. That particle collides with a phosphorescent coating that is on the inside, coating the inside of the glass tube. That particle excites the phosphorescent coating. The phosphorescent coating glows. Our eyes pick up that energy, energy change or glowing as visible light. The half-life of tritium is roughly 12 years. So after 12 years, half the radiation is gone. Figure your oh, police car. Figure your usable lifespan is probably around 20 years. So let's get into this. These are the Protec. If you saw when I was flipping it around, these are done in collaboration with the United States Marine Corps. Uh, you can see their logo on the back. Or not uh, collaboration. It's li it's officially licensed by them. So as I said, runs on Seiko NH35 movement hand wind tack. So we unscrew the crown. And then we can wind it, and then we can pull it out two clicks to change the time, one click to change the date. Date window is at the three. Push down and turn for a full 300 meters of water resistance. That's pretty impressive. The case itself is a carbon composite. Beautiful. So carbon composite means through and through it is black. So if you nick it, scratch it, whatever, it will remain black. It is 42 millimeters in diameter. It is 16 thick to a flat sapphire crystal with inner anti-reflective coating. It is kind of thick. You will see the case is a little bit chunky and the case back is chunky as well. Don't forget, it is 300 meters of water resistance. So typically your 200 meter, say Seiko Diver, which is a stainless steel case, um, those are gonna be roughly what, 15-ish or so, 14 to 15 millimeters thick. So. We're kind of in the ballpark, considering this is a 300. It's gonna be 50 millimeters on the lug tip to lug tip. It's a solid screw down case back, again, with the USMC United States Marine Corps logo. Uh, we do have a nice rubber strap, very nice. 22 millimeters, nothing special about the strap. It's a black strap with a matching black buckle. 
black rubber keepers, but being 22 millimeters, you can throw on a nylon, any other different kind of rubber you want. Are you one of those and you want to put a leather on it? That is up to you. You are more than welcome to do it. As I mentioned many times, 300 meters of water resistance, 85 grams owing to the lightness of that carbon composite case. Really cool. It is going to come in four colors. So this is the black one. Oh, you know what? I want to come in a little bit more on the dial. So you see the dial actually has like a, what do you call that, like a diamond plate kind of pattern to it. This is the black dial with the diamond plate pattern. You can see the Japan movement, USMC, 300 meters automatic, and the brand is Protec. The bezel is 100, uh, excuse me, 60 click. Really nice though, 60 click ratcheting unidirectional bezel. Do 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 do. Coming around, perfect lines right back up. Three other colors are, this one's actually pretty cool. Red has the same diamond plate pattern or texture in, uh, on the dial as you can see. Really cool looking and check out the crown. The crown is done with a red witness band as well. Really nice, nice little pop of color. I think this would be nice on some kind of like a, a black uh, and red rubber strap, uh, maybe like a Hirsch Robbie or something. Uh, they do a black and red one. I think they'll really pick up on the red colors. Uh, but you see that automatic movement, right? Beating at uh, 21,600 beats per hour. So that second hand is moving along at six ticks per second. You're looking at 40 hour power reserve, but it winds on your wrist. So as long as you wear it every day, you will never need to wind it. However, if you wish, you can wind it in the morning. Um, I know some of us just like to wind them yeah. just for the hell of it. Another color to show you will be the sand dial. Yeah, I'll come up on the dial for you a little bit. There you go. You can see that diamond plate texture and the matching sand adorned crown. Really nice. Good color. Nice military, co military color. It reminds me of the desert, I guess, right? That's probably what it is going for. So that's the three. I showed you a black. I showed you a red. I showed you sand. And then, of course, can you do anything military? and not have green. It's not exactly an olive drab. I'd say olive drab has more brown in it. Um, this is more of a marine green, I guess. Uh, with the, again, with the matching color band on the crown. And uh, look, it's not running. So why don't we start, I don't know if this is the only one that wasn't running, but here, why don't we just, I'll, I'll show you, it's an automatic, right? Not running, give it the old, what they call it, the Seiko shuffle. Such a funny term. Is it going? There it goes. Off to the races. Second hand is moving along. They all have the same case back. We're getting officially licensed United States Marine Corps. Let's try it on and then we're going to attempt to do the loom. So here it is on my six and a half, six and three quarter interest. That's where I would be on the strap, right around this hole. Second from the end, if I were to wear it down there or up there, but very nice, 50 on the lug tip to lug tip still, I think it fits me fine, 42 is a great size. Now I say we will attempt to check out the loom because here is the beauty of tritium and I, I need people to understand this because not everybody always gets it. So passive illumination such as you'll find on this Islander will glow so much brighter than tritium the moment the lights go out. But within minutes, five minutes, at the most 10 minutes, the glow of passive illumination from Superluminova, okay, dims enough such that tritium is already brighter. Uh, the idea is, is so on a Superluminova-based watch, um, you have nighttime adjusted eyes, and hopefully through the night, as it gradually releases more energy, you can see the watch. But again, nighttime adjusted eyes. Doesn't mean you come out from a sunny day and you run into your bedroom and it, that's dark and, and you look at your watch and you can't see anything. Adjusted eyes. So ditto on tritium. Tritium really requires adjusted eyes. When I get up in the middle of the night and I pass by my dresser, which has multiple watches on it, if there's a tritium watch, it's the one glowing the brightest by a long shot. So here you go. You have your green dots from one to 11 orange at the 12. You can see the hour, minute, and seconds hand, and you also have a loom dot on the bezel. Again, nighttime adjusted eyes, no problem seeing this for decades at night without any external charging. 
And I think that's going to wrap it up for us. This has been Mark from LongIslandWatch.com. I did not mention price on purpose. The MSRP of these watches is $695, which is well in line with what Luminox and other companies get, Marathon, etc. For a carbon case, Marathon doesn't even make one, 300 meters automatic tritium watch, $695. However, for a very limited time, Introductory pricing is in effect for these. I'm not going to mention it because videos are forever, sales are not. So head on over to the website if you want to pick one of these up at a great price. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. Questions, comments, anything else you want to say, put it down below. Be sure to address it as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.